Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about camouflage, duct tape. The, in USA we have mainly two variants of that camouflage duct tape available. Two different brands. And I'm gonna point out a bit the differences, the experience, what I had with them. On the left side we see the Gorilla, the Gorilla tape in Camo. It's like a real tree version. On the right side we have the real tree hardwoods from duct tape. And we see already the two main differences. The duct tape version on the right side is shiny reflecting like pretty much uh, all the, the duct tapes are a bit reflective and not tactical matte and the Gorilla one is matte. The Gorilla one is, as we open that up, Uh, using a pretty hard glue, the Gorilla glue is famous. I used that glue for a long time in USA since I discovered that really good glue. So the the tape, the tape is strong. It's more of a fabric material that they used, so they could print it on in a camouflage pattern that is matte color. The duct tape. I name it duct tape, but the, the tape itself is pretty nice, it uh, is easy to rip off there, we see the, the edge on it, so you can do that by hand, pretty easy. Then we have the duct tape, original variation, uh, real three hardwoods, and we see it's shiny. It's more shiny. Uh, the material is the usual way. It's a bit uh, a plastic material that has some lining underneath. The stickiness of the, the tape itself is not as strong as the Gorilla one. It rips also pretty well. I would say a bit less good than the Gorilla one because it's a, a plastic and not, not a fabric based material. So sometimes you run into to trouble and it can also tear a part between the, the sticky part and the, the part that doesn't stick. We see here it did that. The Gorilla packaging is like that. We have 8.2 meters on that material. That's how the backside look. The duct tape variation is a bit longer, 9.14 meters. So it depends on your application. For me, for a tactical application, I would prefer the Gorilla one uh, most of the time. Uh, the material is nicer to grip. If you want to cover something that you touch with your hands, it gives you more grip. The, the duct tape one is more slippery. Uh, this really feels like a fabric. Also, it has the the matte finish on it so it's not reflecting the, the light at all compared to the to the duct tape hope I hope we see that on the video that that is just reflecting light even that small amount of light that is here in the room and we have the point that it is easier to tear apart in case you are in a hurry or uh, you have a not, not a scissor with you, you can tear that better apart and it looks nicer on the on the edges 
as we look at the comparison of the edges where it drips, it just drips nicer. About the stickiness, the, the Gorilla one also is more sticky. If you tape it on, that stays better on it. Uh, up about the time frame that is hard to say yet which which one lasts longer over the years uh, duct tape in general or tape in general is not designed for be a permanent fix that is something that you apply and then it lasts a while and then you may need to reapply it or or uh, fix it uh, in a different way so this is not a, a permanent solution but I would say for tactical application with all the, the benefits that the Gorilla tape has, I would prefer that every day over the, the duct tape. Uh, one drawback I have to say about the Gorilla tape that is maybe not available in all the places where you could get uh, the duct tape. The duct tape comes in way many variations here in USA and you find that in absolute many places. So Gorilla. Uh, tape, especially the camouflage one, may be not, not that easy available in your area, so you need to order it online. So it's not like, like you go somewhere and pick that up and you have it and finish, that, that uh, is not that easy. So that much about the camouflage tape.